Okay, today we're going to be looking at taking a milliamp reading uh, to determine the draw that these clippers are drawing on the electricity to determine if that's within an acceptable range. Uh, so there's going to be two different tools that we're going to be using, the line splitter, uh, which when you take a reading on a clipper, you're going to be testing a neutral wire to determine um, uh, what is being the electricity that's being drawn. So you have your hot wire that comes in bringing the electricity, so that's going to be at 120 volts. And then we're going to be determining the amperage on the neutral wire. So you go ahead and plug that into your plug-in, keeping in mind that we're going to be testing neutral, which is the thicker slot. And in our line splitter, there is uh, two different settings. The one power, which is what's actually happening and then there's times 10 which will give you a more accurate reading. We're just going to use the one power at this point. Set your multimeter to read amps. And we will test this golden A5 one speed. Go ahead and plug it in and you start it right up and if you can see it's testing at right about 0.3 milliamps or amps actually on our scale and if you take a look at the sheet here um, an Oster 1 speed without a blade the old style is supposed to be running at 300 milliamps if you convert that to milliamps you get 290 so that's pretty close within the range. Now let's take a look at this Golden A5. This is the newer style. As you can hear, it doesn't sound very good. And it's also drawing 4.8 or, so, or 0 0.48 amps. It's drawing about 4.8 amps. If you look at the chart on a one-speed Oster, the new cool running style, which is this style of front, it's supposed to be running at 320 milliamps. This one uh, is running at 450 or so. So we can tell that there's an issue here, probably in the armature, in which it's uh, pulling too much electricity, more than um, what is prescribed by Oster. So that's how you take a milliamp reading. Hopefully that was profitable for you.